Welcome. Staff, you may be seated. Well, good evening. My name is Andrea Derrickson, and I'm the assistant principal at Charleston County School of the Arts. Oh. Thank you. At this time, would you please stand to welcome our honored guest, the Charleston County School of the Arts class of 
Don't worry, Dr. Selby. We, they're performers. They were going to take their time with this. Welcome, class of 2023. Okay, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by our senior class president, Morgan Schatmeyer. <laughs> and the national anthem performed by vocal majors, American Sign Language Interpretation, will be provided by Rio Dong, Ian Gregg, and Alfonso White. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome our salutatorian, Meredith Lane Hungerford. Welcome teachers, faculty, friends, and family to the class of 2023 Charleston County School of the Arts graduation. I've been given the honor of greeting you all on this very special occasion, and I want to extend appreciation to the CCSD School Board and Dr. Shannon Cook for their leadership. At this time, I would like to reflect on our journey at SOA and acknowledge the collective effort, especially by my fellow graduates, that went into achieving this milestone. I am so grateful to be this year's salutatorian, so you would think I wouldn't have procrastinated in writing my speech, but I did. Unlike many of my classmates, I began high school, my high school career at SOA as a sophomore. As soon as I stepped foot on the campus, I was greeted by a community consisting of all art disciplines, rich in diversity. Unfortunately, I was also very warmly embraced by COVID. While I think I partially expected students to spontaneously break into song or be dancing on lunch tables in the cafeteria, it was not the high school musical experience that I thought it would be. Instead, my classmates and I were disconnected and it was difficult to acclimate into my new environment. But when we returned in the fall of our junior year, restrictions had been lifted and I was finally able to experience the uniqueness of our school in its entirety. I saw students interact and create incredible art alongside faculty and administration and share it with our community. I was sure my senior year would bring even more opportunities and be even better. However, for me, it started with the news of my father's cancer returning. And once again, I felt restricted by my circumstances, much like the beginning of my sophomore year. My family was separated due to his treatments and every decision was focused around the progression of his disease. But instead of shutting down, I saw my family turn to face each difficulty and to embrace every opportunity to use their testimony for good and to celebrate even the smallest moments. 
Life does not always go as planned, but adversity should not deter us from our dreams. Instead, we need to push forward and adjust our perspective, allowing us to create our own future, even if it wasn't the one that we planned. I'm proud of the accomplishments of my senior class as each of us have overcome our own distinct challenges. We will graduate as individuals who demonstrate passion, acceptance, perseverance, and empathy, and who use our circumstances and our art to leave an impact on our community through our community. Congratulations to the class of 2023, and good luck. Good evening, students, parents, families, friends. It is my pleasure to serve as principal of SOA and to welcome some special guests to our graduation ceremony. With us tonight, we have Dr. Sherry Eppelsheimer, Associate Superintendent of the High Schools for Charleston County School of the Arts. We also have Mr. Jeff Barrowi, Chief Operating Officer, Ms. Robin Jones, Executive Director of Instructional Programs, Dr. Rodney Lewis, CCSD Curriculum, and Reverend Chris Collins, CCSD Board of Trustees, District 4. Okay, you're in for a treat. Our first performance of the evening features our dance majors under the direction of Christian, Kristen Tillotson, Leslie Jones, and Linda Klein. Thank you, Dr. Cook. I'm Kristen Tillotson, one of the dance teachers here at SOA. I'm so honored to introduce um, the graduating class of 2023. From watching each other at audition to dancing their final performance here at graduation, I introduce you to our last time performed by the SOA dance majors. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move Everybody here is watching you Cause you feel like home You're like a dream come true But if by chance you're here alone can I have a moment before I go? Cause I've been by myself all night long Hoping you're someone I used to know You look like a movie You sound like a song My God, this reminds me when we were young Let me photograph you in this light In case it is the last time that we might Be exactly like we were Before we realized We were so of getting old It made us restless It was just like a movie It was just like a song God, this reminds me of when we were
Good evening, everyone. My name is Derek Pickens. I am one of the theater teachers at the School of the Arts. Our amazing seniors will be performing an original piece in which they stroll down memory lane with some of their favorite moments of SOA theater. Please enjoy. Why do our senior theater major teachers make us do this every year? Who knows? Has anyone even opened this thing? Well, no time like the present. Oh, so this is where all the stuff from our old shows go. Oh. In eighth grade, Miss Link would make us do Friday shows where we danced, act, did magic shows. It was super fun. I remember choreographing other people's dances, and it was cringy, but it brought us together. Who can forget this? Aww. Sophomore year when we all played Survivor, and you all voted me out, so I used one of my hidden immediate idols to save Alex. Let's not forget the Mario Kart round when Griffin and I played an amazing game, but I totally won, and I still remember how my whole team screamed when we won immunity from that round. One time, Mr. Yance lined us up and gave the first person in line a razor and told us that we would each be shaving a strip of hair off of his head. We were a little worried at first, but once we saw RJ so ready to shave his idol's head, we all jumped in, and needless to say, we had a very satisfied customer. COVID! Oh. Oh. Whenever I first came to SOA, I had my first teacher, Mr. Waters. We had an animal project, and I chose a snake. I was worried about how ridiculous we'd look, but once I performed with you guys, I realized I could be silly and goofy with you all. <laughs> oh. Okay, but who could forget Steal the Bacon? Bacon! We used to play Steal the Bacon in Mr. Yance's class every day. It was so tiring, and the competition was intense. At the end of last year, the four of us created a short film displaying the life and times of Mr. Yance and how he got his magical powers. It was called the gospel according to Mr. Young. We're gonna do a little reenactment. <laughs> the gnome knows. <gasps> Woman! Oh, wow, you're so strong and brave and handsome. Thank you, but I heard the gnome knows. <gasps> Woman! <laughs> ah! Oh. If you spare me, I'll give you great power. <gasps> My favorite memory was stage combat with Mr. Yance, where we had to play this game where we, you got in the corner and you had to hold someone back from getting to the center of the room. Sometimes it, it barely felt legal, but it was some of the most fun I've ever had in a theater class. Junior year was both my very first year at SOA and my first time being in a musical, The Lightning Thief. Adrian had about a minute backstage to wrap me entirely in this white fabric, and then I had to sing. By far, my favorite memory is my junior year doing stage makeup with Miss Horn running around the campus scaring students and teachers, of course. One time, I ducked behind Miss Horschel's door, and then I jumped up and I scared her. She screamed, but thankfully, she was being a good sport that day. <laughs> My favorite memory at SOA was uh, when George Yaunt uh, made us play charades in junior year, and Ryan once got so mad that he erased the score from the board because we won. <laughs> it was a great memory. It was junior year, and our Shakespeare play was the Scottish play, and with that came stage combat and playing hide and seek in the theater and playing mm -hmm. Beth was definitely one of my favorite roles of all time and I definitely think it brought us closer together. Every Sunday before show week without fail we would always have a seven hour rehearsal at school and we would always be so tired and delirious after them especially senior thesis but we would always get pizza at Mellow Mushroom beforehand and it was some of the most fun we would all have a, have a cast. My favorite memory was senior thesis. It really helped me find a passion for dramatic writing, and I was able to work with some of my best friends. Thesis was my favorite time, too. Acting alongside my best friends was some of the most fun I had. And we put on an incredible performance. At the SETA Festival, we watched shows, performed, and had microphones shoved in our faces for TikTok interviews. I mean, I somehow remember Jordan rolling down a hill, and we made a huge pit stop for Circle K. It was a crazy night. At that very same festival, we were super disappointed when our one-act show, Elephant's Graveyard, didn't even place. But we continued to rehearse the show, we brought it to another state competition, and we won the highest possible award, and a lot of us won individual awards as well. That thespian competition was also my favorite memory. I remember in the final moments of the show, we could hear people in the audience sobbing, which then prompted me to cry, even though that didn't make sense for my character in the moment. What we created was something so beautiful and showed me the true meaning of theater. Since this is our last performance together, we should take a picture. Good idea, can you? <laughs> okay, everyone on three. One, two, three. The no nose!
Westboro, and I'm the fashion design teacher here at SOA. The process of clothing design from concept to finished garment consists of sketching, pattern making, fabric selection, cutting, pinning, and sewing, and sometimes ripping out and sewing all over again. Fashion is hard work. These talented fashion design seniors would like to share some of their beautiful creations with you. We'd like to recognize our CCSD Board Scholars. Will the 2023 CCSD Board Scholars please stand? The CCSD Board Certificate is awarded to graduating seniors based on GPA calculated at the end of the third nine-week grading period. A student must achieve a four-year GPA of 4.25 or better on the South Carolina Uniform Grading Scale with no rounding up. Please join me one more time in congratulating these seniors. Thank you, seniors, you may be seated. We'd also like to make sure that you know that with us in attendance, we have Dr. Jerome Davis from CCSD, who works with our curriculum instruction department. Good evening. I'm Rutledge Hamas, one of the creative writing teachers here at SOA. Our program has been the most awarded creative writing program in the nation now for 12 straight years.
And that is due in no small part to the extraordinary accomplishments of this, the 2023 class of graduating writers. It might rightly be said that artistic excellence has been the hallmark of this class, but so is their pension for kindness, decency, and that necessary kind of good that these 14 writers have spoken boldly into the world around them. For that, I couldn't be prouder. I remember the first day of class. We were fresh-faced, savvy, and soon to become the bane of our teacher's existence, our journals open and ready to write. We endured bad haircuts, dead class pets, and getting lost in the hallways. We braved the sight of red marks on our first drafts and began to find our voices. The back corner of Barnes and Noble soon to become familiar, surrounded by bookcases filled with puzzles and games and travel guides to distract from our reading nerves. We used our skills to collaborate with visual artists, visiting an island with them and working with one another to create art together. show promise in the mastery of our craft, from vast stanzas of prose to poems arranged meticulously across the page. We learned how to blend reality and the fantastical with magical realism and helped to hone our peers' pieces and workshop. Our first three years were done. We were only voices as our sandy hands clicked flashlight switches on a late night beach run, atop of the world on the largest lighthouse we had ever seen. And we became placed in walls that were even more familiar, where computer screens lit our dark rooms and Zoom became our best friend. We started a new year alone in our rooms or in portioned plexiglass desks, classes gradually regrowing from just a student or two to finally, nearly, whole again. Reconvene. Tracing names of new friends, voices echoing scripts and essays, we circle as we settle into the rhythm of write, cut, rewrite, words dancing easier now. They split us into pairs, sunburnt and waterlogged, and we kayaked through glassy waters and spider trees alongside the tour guide who ate a live cricket. When we were no longer able to recite our work for the now familiar crowds of people in coffee shops, we read to each other in an echoing theater, waiting together in the crowded backstage with bated breath. After hearing mere whispers from proceeding creative writers, it was finally time for the Lake Logan trip. We had lunch on mountain summits, a woodland seance, and unveiled the folktale monster Bujum. Each of us now holds a book, a tangible copy of all that we have learned. Every page chronicles the invaluable lessons we've accumulated over seven years. Good evening, my name is Christopher Selby. I'm the high school orchestra director at the School of the Arts. This year began with a full length production of Phantom of the Opera, and tonight our seniors will be performing a few selections from this amazing musical.
Good evening. I am Dustin King, the director of high school bands at School of the Arts. This has been an incredible year for the band program, and this senior class was instrumental in its success. One year ago, when I accepted the offer to take over as the high school band director, I didn't know if this group of seniors would trust my vision for the program. Not only did this group of young people accept the challenges that come with a new director, but they took leadership in setting the band pr program up for future success. This evening, they will be performing Just a Closer Walk with Ree, arranged by Don Gillis and Michael Brown, a fitting tribute as they did this song with Miss Reed, who is retiring this year, so they're kind of all graduating together. We hope you enjoy.
Hello, I'm Barb Richardson. I'm one of the visual arts teachers, and I'm pleased to share this video highlighting our amazing, award-winning senior visual artist. At this time, Dr. Eppelsheimer would like to make a special presentation to our salutatorian and our valedictorian. First, to our salutatorian, Meredith Lane Hungerford. And our class of 2023 valedictorian, Abigail Lila Short. Esteemed faculty, proud families, friends, and my fellow graduates, 
We are the graduating class of the School of the Arts, and I'm deeply honored to address you as the valedictorian. At SOA, we've spent years honing our creative skills, exploring the depths of our imagination, and pushing the boundaries of artistic expression. As artists, we possess unique power, the ability to envision and create what does not yet exist. That was a pretty good introduction, right? Maybe a little generic in places? Well, I didn't write it, sorry. ChatGPT did. <laughs> Though I know most of you know, in case there's a couple of grandparents out there, um, let me explain this technology in my own words as I'll continue the rest of the speech. It's an artificial intelligence system that can answer a written prompt, such as write a valedictorian speech for an art school, and in some ways, it can give better responses than humans. The future is volatile. This new technology hasn't even existed for a year and has already disrupted our society. We're entering a time where visual art will be created by machines, and writing emails will become so much easier. Even the creators of this intelligence warn about the irreversible change that will take place in the next five to 20 years. I wish I could read the palms of humanity and tell us all what's going to happen, but as it stands, I didn't even know I would be writing this speech until a week ago. I also didn't predict that I would fail to put my cap back on after receiving the award medal in front of the entire class, their families, Dr. Cook, with people laughing the whole time. Now that's something I'll remember forever. Some say my generation will have to save the world from the mess that it's in. And I think we will, in part. Maybe we'll figure out how to solve climate change, improve social justice, and cohabitate with AI by using it as a supplement, not a replacement, for our human skills and creativity. Maybe we'll introduce new problems that Generation Alpha will curse us for. But tonight, let's not worry about the planetary future and relish in this special celebration of our graduation from high school. Class of 2023, you are some of the most exceptional people I've ever met, and I feel so grateful to walk among you and stand here before you and your families tonight. I remember our first convocation in sixth grade with the classic Nile River dance. And now this ceremony is the last time that we will perform for one another as SOA students. Through the last seven years, we've watched each other evolve as people and artists, and now we will diverge into different paths, many of which will never cross again. But I feel that you will go on to do great and interesting things. May you forge a path of self-fulfillment that brings more good into the world and inspire others as you've inspired me. Remember, when the going gets tough, or great, or mediocre, as my dad says, catch the ceaseless flow of quality in the passing moment. Class of 2023, we did it. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Dr. Happy Bird, the classical piano teacher at SOA. This year, the seniors in the award-winning piano program at SOA were among our students that won state and regional competitions in the National Music Teachers Associations, the Sonatina Festival, and the South Carolina Piano Festival. Please congratulate the 2023 piano majors and welcome them in their performance of Merry-Go-Round of Life.
Good evening. My name is Heather Caffarell, one of the directors of the SOA Singers. These vocal majors have sung in all state and national choirs and to sold out audiences at the Gilead Auditorium. They collaborated with the SOA Symphony Orchestra, wowing audiences with their performances of Les Mis and the Phantom of the Opera. Tonight, these amazing students will sing a mashup of Seize the Day from Newsies and I Will Go the Distance from Hercules, arranged by SOA alumnus Maggie Coley for their final performance together. Enjoy.
Hello, my name is Sydney Lee and I am SOA's student body president. <laughs> At SOA, our purpose is to provide a supportive educational environment where academic and artistic challenges engage students, leading them to develop their talents, to pursue their goals and contribute to society. The graduates of School of the Arts have the opportunity to earn an SOA credential over the course of their four years in high school. The SOA credential fosters the development of shared partnerships with artistic professionals, a culture of service learning and community involvement, an understanding of all art disciplines through rigorous humanities courses, and high student achievement in both art and academic classes. Dr. Cook, it is my pleasure to present these band majors as candidates for graduation. Matthew Robert Brewer. <laughs> Jeremiah Wayne Collins with thesis. Daniel Deal Condon. Christopher Bennett Eastbrook. Joshua Allen Feaster. Soren Zimmerman Jones with thesis. Sydney Ellis Kaler with thesis and SOA credential with st distinction. David Konikov with thesis.
William Carlos Lamar with thesis. <laughs> Carolyn Naomi Macklin. <laughs> Flora Elizabeth Mazak with thesis and SOA credential. Curry Dale Marchant with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Emmy Elizabeth Martin. Evie Jane Massey with thesis and SOA credential. Alex Park with thesis. Aaron J. Rupp. Abigail Lynn Thornley with thesis. Bryce Henley Waldron Norin with thesis. Austin Patrick Walton with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Addison James Michael Wood with thesis. And now Mr. Hams with creative writing. Dr. Cook, it is my honor to present our creative writing majors as candidates for graduation. Madison Janae Brown with thesis. Miles Allen Kane with thesis. Bella Grace Constantino with thesis and SOA credential. Eliza Marie Eckert with thesis. Ella Ray Fitz with thesis. Winslow Warren Hasty with thesis. Zacchaeus Aziz Kennard with thesis. Sydney Michelle Lee with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Regan Kylie McGee with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Lorelai Olivia Morgane with thesis and SOA credential. Aiden Clark Pinna with thesis and SOA credential. William Davenport Ross with thesis. Thank you. 
Sailor Sophia Taransky with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Ann Wilson Varnadel with thesis and SOA credential. Thank you, creative writing majors. And now Ms. Tillotson with dance. Dr. Cook, it is my honor to present these dance majors as candidates for graduation. Ariana Hampton Askew with thesis and SMA credential. <laughs> Janice Gail Barr with thesis. Natalie Hampton Benton with thesis and SOA credential. Emma Cannon Davis with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Melanie Grace Gilliard with thesis and SOA credential. Libby Carol Glaser with thesis. Hope Loretta Gregg with thesis. Sophia Elaine Katsibus with thesis, SOA credential with distinction. Kayla Lynn Kohama with thesis. Jada Simone Mercer with thesis. Janila Dejanique Monique Dixon with thesis. Caitlin Elizabeth Pinckney with thesis. <laughs> Thank you, dance majors. And now, Miss Amick. Amick. Dr. Cook, as one of the proud teachers of the deaf at SOA, I would like to present these deaf culture and ASL majors for candidates for graduation. Rio Dong. Ian Carter Gregg. Alfonso James White. Woo! 
And now, Ms. Chesborough with fashion. Dr. Cook, it is my honor to present the costume and fashion design majors as candidates for graduation. Beatrice Charlotte Criscolo with thesis and SOA credential. <laughs> okay. Anna Garziera with thesis. <laughs> Natalie Jean Glazer with thesis. <laughs> hey, darling, can I help? <laughs> okay. Um, Ellison Holland with thesis. <laughs> Jillian Cecilia Lovely with thesis. Lillian Grace Thomas with thesis. <laughs> Georgia Lynn Stewart with thesis. <laughs> Thank you, costume and fashion design majors. Next, Dr. Bird and piano. Dr. Cook, it is my honor to present these piano majors as candidates for graduation. Caleb Jordan Banks with thesis. Tyler Nicole Boss with thesis and SOA credential. Marley Karina Eckert with thesis. Benjamin Lee Fancher with thesis. John Epps Walter Edward Lapola with thesis. <laughs> Peter Thomas Phillips with thesis. <laughs> Patrice. Iana Simmons with thesis and SOA credential. <laughs> Hannah Elisa Wise with thesis. Thank you, piano majors. And now, Dr. Selby with strings. Dr. Cook, it is my honor to present the following strings majors as candidates for graduation. Evan Christopher Baker with thesis and SOA credential with distinction.
Lula Catherine Benson. Addison Lee Black with thesis and SOA credential. Megan Elizabeth Black with thesis and SOA credential. Giovanni Matthew Cusadis with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. James Nash Dorr with thesis. Macy Lynn Driggers with thesis and SOA credential. Julia Grace Dubay. Decker Gardner Elam with thesis. Lena Victoria Fimian with thesis. Elizabeth Carol Horneg. Delaney Suzanne Kirk with thesis. Ada Fahali Meisenheimer. Margaret Catherine Moore with thesis and SOA credential. Peter Trevor O'Malley with thesis and SOA credential. Sarah Ann Overby. Grace Julia Pennington with thesis. Michaela Samea Ravenel with thesis. Christopher Alexander Selby with thesis. Luke Abram Shackelford. Capers Ali Tabrizian with thesis. Kalea Carmen Inga Vincian with thesis. And Sadie Louise Wood with thesis. Thank you, strings majors. And now, Mr. Pickens with theater. Dr. Cook, I would like to present these theater majors as candidates for graduation. Tyler Joseph Caplia with thesis. Jonah Donato Chinitz with thesis and SOA credential. Griffin Taylor Culp with thesis.
Casey and Curtis with thesis. <laughs> Avery Grace Detita with thesis. Ryan Randall Dickerson with thesis and SOA credential. Jordan Jamie Dunn with thesis. <laughs> Judith Harper Hamrick with thesis and SOA credential. <laughs> Kenya Denise Marie Hines with thesis and SOA credential. Ronald Wayne Jenkins III with thesis. <laughs> Liam Johnson with thesis. <laughs> Alexandra Grace LaPlante with thesis. Miley Bryce Merkline with thesis and SOA credential. <laughs> Cody Newman with thesis. <laughs> Cynthia Marie Putney with thesis. Adrian Elizabeth Rogers with thesis. Jillian Mari Russell with thesis. Morgan Susan Schottmeyer with thesis. Carson Ashley Smith with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. <laughs> Ella Madison Tolbert with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Jasmine Sky Vivas Young with thesis and SOA credential. Thank you, theater majors. Next is Mr. Coley with visual arts. Dr. Cook. I would like to present these visual arts majors as candidates for graduation. Emily Isabella Asp Aspitalico with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. <laughs> Esmeralda Rosalina Barrios Perez. Evelyn Elizabeth Bushkin with thesis and SOA credential. Margot Daly Burkhart with thesis and SOA credential. Ariana Raven Chin with thesis. Grace Victoria Constantine with thesis. Kingsley Ganey with thesis. Rory Nicholas Kennedy Gregory with thesis.
Ileana Sophia Gross with thesis. <laughs> Kayla Angela Herman with thesis and SOA credential. <laughs> Lauren Grace Holliday with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Neo Sky James with thesis. Ariana Eva Stratos Lane with thesis and SOA credential. Lorelei Eileen Leggett. Angel Gabriel Magano Afaro with thesis. Grace Elizabeth Nelson with thesis and SOA credential. Abigail Lila Short, the class of 2023 valedictorian with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Amalia O. Steblenenko with thesis. Sarah Ann Davis Sweeten with thesis and SOA credential. Julia Rose Zimmerman with thesis and SOA credential. Next is Miss Caffarel with vocal. Dr. Cook, I am honored to present the vocal majors as candidates for graduation. Ava McCabe Allen. Nora Kate Bernstein with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Ava Lynn Bishop. Devin Sanders Brenson with thesis and SOA credential. Yolanda Lachey Cleveland with thesis and SOA credential. Rory Maloney Condon with thesis. <laughs> Natasha Leah Cullen. <laughs> Elizabeth Manal Davitt. Aurora Lily Dry with thesis. Justin Michael Feaster with thesis. McKenna Shelley Grozas with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Tony Darnell Hatawanger. <laughs> Meredith Lane Hungerford, the class of 2023 salutatorian with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Brett Michael Hunter with thesis and SOA credential. <laughs> Brittany Dale Johnson with thesis and SOA credential. Marshall Caleb King with thesis.
Michaela Jolie Litchfield. Uh oh. Madison Blakely McConnell. Thank you. Brandon James Morgan with thesis. John Joseph O'Brien with thesis. Linnea Claire Ransford with thesis and SOA credential. Molly Elizabeth Scholler with thesis. Anna Lisette Shea with thesis and SOA credential with distinction. Thank you so much. Isla Jazzy Walker. Seniors, with the power vested in me by the state of South Carolina and the Charleston County School Board, I verify that you, the candidates, have satisfied the requirements for a South Carolina high school diploma. At this time, I hereby certify the diplomas of the graduating class of Charleston County School of the Arts of 2023. You may move your tassels. will lead us in SOA's alma mater. Thank you. 